What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. You guys ready to party or what? Heavy cover. Heavy cover time. How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to Northwoods Angling live stream, August 30th. We're live on the Minnesota River here. I'm with Mr. Peter Warner of Northwoods, his nephew. Chris is in the boat with us tonight. And we're going to get on some big old flatheads. Thank you guys for the thumbs up already. We got 18 people in here. Just so you guys know, if you're watching this after August 30th at 7.30 p.m. Central, make sure you guys go check out our channel and watch some of our full production shows too. We'll be on there. We got shows twice a week, at least once a week. But welcome to the stream, guys. What's up, Racer Tracer? I'm going to uh, get a big one. We're going to try. We're going to try, guys. I'm going to get my... I got a new lens for my phone. I want to show you guys. If you, if, if you haven't been watching me on Twitch, I want to show you what my new lens does. It's pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to cast my rod out here. It's time to catch a flathead, huh? Here from Twitch. What's going on, CK Dog? Oh, yeah. All right, guys. What is up? Hold on, hold on. All right, we're good. We're good. Great night out, you're dang right. What's up, Bodkin? Tonight's the night for you guys. I hope so, Mike. Here's what we're using, guys. Live bullhead again. We got a cut bait out on the outside edge. Um, we're gonna move after this spot and we're gonna go find fish some worms and some more cut bait too, so. Just your standard Carolina rig, guys. Right here. Six ounce, five ounce weight, standard Carolina rig. That's what you want. Sheepdog, what's going on, brother? Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna get this line up. We are live. Some of you have seen my new uh my new um lens, but I don't even think Peter's seen it. What do you got? I got a lens to put on my phone. It makes you see it like no, ten feet wider. Sweet. Yeah. It does look a lot wider. Not yet though. I don't have it on. Oh, you don't have no, it on? Let's see how different it is. It's not. Right, right there. I want you to go just to the outside of me. Outside of you? Yep. We got all three peppers right there. Yep. Uh, I'm on like seven, like five feet right there. So the farthest you want me to be in seven? I want you to be in that seven to nine spot. So you're going to get as close to that wood as you can and you're going to feel it stick on the bottom. Pull it over to the right. Oh, real nice. yep, yep, yep. All right, guys, real we're in. Nice. We're in. Northwood's in the house. What's up, guys? Maurice, what's going on, man? I started watching. You guys love the show. Hey, James, Robinette, thank you for being here, buddy. That was not a circle hook. Uh, we got circle hook on the outside. I'm going to get my new lens, guys. I'm going to show Peter what this just, does. That's just how you. Yeah, it's just what you got to do because you want to be fishing. If I can find it. Can't wait to see this new lens. Chris, turn around and say hi. Hello. What's your name? Chris. Where are you from? Minnesota. What part of Minnesota? Egan, Egan Minnesota. What grade are you in? Seven. Going into seventh grade. It's getting old. Yeah. Did you go to the state fair today? Yes. Did you eat a lot of mini donuts? A lot of mini donuts. Here's my new lens, guys, for my phone. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Watch the difference that it makes. What? Oh, yeah. What is it just? You'll see. It's the real deal, guys. Welcome to the stream, guys. We got 170 people in here strong. Oh. And we are, we're gonna catch some flat hits for you guys tonight. It means you might as well be here live, right? It's your, um, I, I won't say who that is. Nope. Watch this. Fishing. Yeah, now will it focus with it on? Oh yeah. Yes, it Watch the difference. Ready? Oh wow! <laughs> I couldn't mm. notice anything right away. I know. That's awesome. That's unreal. And what's cool is it gives you something bigger to look at. Yes, sir. That's it. Welcome to the stream. You guys like the new wide view for YouTube Live or what? Huh? That's pretty sweet, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. 
pretty bad. Now I can stand close. You see how my face isn't covering the whole screen right here? So sweet. It's much better. Tex is in the house, fisheye, kinda. It's not a fish, it's not really a fisheye. It doesn't distort the picture very yeah. much. It doesn't bend it like Huge difference. Does. What's up, Slime Quest? What's going on, man? What's going on? How's everybody doing tonight? Guys, how's everybody doing? Where'd the beard go? I shaved it off. Cleaned up a little bit. Couple bites on 494. Rico. Hi guys, I got my big catfish yet. We would get flooding here in Florida or for Twitch Live. I use it on Twitch and on YouTube now. This lens is the bomb. I'm gonna clean my lens up. I got a little smudge on there. There we go. Now we're party time. Ignacio, welcome to the stream. We got Iowa. You're peachy. What's up, Terry? What's up, Cat Buster? What's going on, man? Terry Atkins. We took, uh, Christopher wanted to get out on the river. What's up, T-Bird? What's going on, man? How you doing? Um, I'm jumping in tonight. That's the goal. If we get a 40 plus pounder on stream, we're jumping. At least Peter is. I'm jumping. <laughs> I'll jump for a 30. <laughs> At least Peter is. Cut the beard. How are you going to save the Frank's hot dog? You know, <laughs> this, oh, the Frank's hot sauce. Well, you do what you got to yeah, do, right? Yeah, I'm going to Texas in just a couple days, and I wanted to I wanted to be a little lighter on the face because it's pretty hot there. Yeah. Shane says, hey, Pete. Hey, hey, Shane. What's up, man? Let's catch some big boys. We're going to try. We're going to try. We're going to try, guys. We're trying. A little front's coming through. If you guys are brand new to the stream and you just jumped in and you're not a subscriber, follow, follow the channel. Uh, besides live streams, guys, we do do full production shows. Um, and we put those out every week. So make sure if we don't have a show to put out, we go live. And right now, we don't have a show. It's not completed. Um, so, we're live. I like live fishing. I live stream a lot, so. Nice lens. Hey, thanks, Mike. Welcome to the stream, guys. Makes a big difference that this lens does. What's up, Billy? How's Billy doing? Feel you there? Beard went bye-bye yesterday. I had to shave the beard, man. It feels good. What's up, Logan? Get slimed. Catfishing's in the house, guys. Make sure you go check Logan out. How's everyone doing? Santi Cooper catfish now, just cold enough for hoodies down here. <laughs> Not cold, yeah, it's been, it was in the 55, it was 54 degrees last night, so. What's up, Travis? Julie, what's going on? I bet Dwayne would say Pete is a Canadian 12. <laughs> I don't know if Dwayne watches YouTube. It's a good question. I'm calling it pig in the boat tonight. I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, I know for a fact when we get behind this wood pile next, um, there's a lot of carp there, so we might we might have to catch some carp. <clears throat> can you post a link to where you got your lens, Jeremy Allen? I can. I I kind of want a smaller lens. This lens is a little big, a little bigger than I want, but it works. It's really clear and it's really it's a good lens. But why are we going up river? Oh, I think it's just because you were up front. Probably. All right, but yeah, I've, where's Jake? Blake's not in here. Is Blake in chat? What's up, uh, Mr. Jake Chadwick? Pete, what you guys using for bait? Tim Brown. Bullheads, and we're using a little bit of cut suckers tonight. We didn't have any good creek chubs. We couldn't, we didn't have time to go get any, so we're using cut suckers, big ones, big decoys. We cut them up into big ch little chunks. Throw them right on there. Little meaty chunks, guys. Meaty chunks. Didn't even put the best part on the hook. Oh, I thought you were gonna give me a treat. <laughs> I'm hungry. Um. Can you, uh, you had any yet? We just started, Melts. We just started right now. We got rods out three minutes ago. Braden Chafin, what's going on, brother? Double cannonball going on tonight. I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping, Huggins. Catch some tanks. Hey, Luke and the guys. I'm retiring October 31st and moving to Lake Conroe in Texas, so getting closer to you guys. Where are you at now, Mike? Where are you at now? Mark Cooper, vicariously living through you guys while I'm selling phones. That a boy, Mike. Mark, you're working hard there. You should show Verizon the best seller in the business, right? How many more flathead trips y'all got left this year? Isn't there a season up there? No, we're good until um, end of September, hopefully. And is it is it close October first? The flats? Yeah. When does no flat? idea? I don't know. I don't. I'm fishing sturgeon when it closes, so just let it go. What's up, Walleye Thomas? How you doing, brother? How you doing, Walleye Thomas? You pumped up yet, or what? You should be. You really should, you be. should be. 
What's up, Luke? I hope you get it to 50. Water is a little cold for the cannon. No, no. Water is 73 degrees. Cannonball, perfect. Perfect. Another a lot of carp spot. I already gave you one of those. Everyone's giving me carp spots. None of them have came out very well. I found found some pretty good ones though. Bait. We're using bullheads. Can you post a link to your exact location? I'll Fortnite drop into that boat. <laughs> drop out of the party bus. Jeremy A, catch a monster. What part of Texas are you coming to? We're coming uh, just north of uh, Livingston Lake. Lake Livingston. Tasty. You caught any yet? We just started, Melts. What's up, guys? Catching any? Just started, Wade. Welcome to the stream, Wade. Uh, archery, two-time world champion in the house, guys. If you guys are archery, archery guys. Mr. Wade in here, two-time world archery champion. Longbow and compound. Just a ace of a shot. Just an ace. Making me hungry. What's up, Luke? Just join. Military catfishing. What's going on, man? This new lens is nice. I can, I can stand close and it doesn't flood out the whole picture. Sweet. Well, good luck. We caught a few 15-pounders. Nothing as big as you guys get. Well, that's pretty good. I'll take a 15-pounder. Tommy Atkins, what's going on, man? Using live suckers under the 494 bridge? You're under the 494 bridge, eh? That's... Oh, you're, on, you're in the Mississippi? Is that where you're at? Tonight is the night. Oh, you're under the 494 bridge on the Minnesota. You shore fish that or what? From that one ramp or what? Tonight is the night for 50 pounder. Northern California. You're way over there, man. Lafayette, L Louisiana here. Trouble Y. Welcome to the stream, guys. Everyone, welcome to the stream. When are you guys going to Texas, Abel wants to know? We're going to Texas. We're leaving Tuesday. Tuesday. They're leaving really early in the morning. I cannot leave early in the morning, so. Looks like we're going to be a little separate driving down, so. We agreed to leave in the middle of the day, and then they changed it on me, so we're leaving Just separate. hearing about that now for the first time, <laughs> so well noted. Dang guy, you're looking smooth. Hey, thanks, Wade. Flats don't close. They do. They do in Minnesota, John. You should know you live here. Come on now. There's a season. Where have you been, John? We got the law passed. Yes, we have a season for flatheads. It closes. John's mistaken. Um, come to Lake Tawakany, Texas and catch some. I'd like to go there sometime. I'd like to go there sometime for sure. How big? How big what? The river here I live in flooding. I hop on and go down and get some catfish. Um, what part of Texas will you be in? We'll be by Lake Livingston. Water and ice outdoors. $5 donation. So bass tomorrow. I don't know yet, Pete. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not for sure yet. I want to, but I'm not secure where I need to be yet. So we'll Thank talk about Thank you, Water it later. and Ice Outdoors. Appreciate yeah. Thank it. Thank you for the dono, dude. How big are the bullheads? Oh, how big are the bullheads? Five to eight inches I got in that bucket. Unless Peter brought some jumbos. Josh. You made me to leave them. You did leave them. I thought you dumped you them in there. I thought you dumped them. You said you wanted me to put them in my tank. But no. He lied. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Just join. Love your channel, bro. Josh Williams, thank you so much, man. Thank you for the support. Welcome to the Northwoods Angling YouTube channel. Focus. There we go. Catch a moo moo hippie. We're going to try, man. We're going to try. We're going to put all the effort we can do. Michelle Anderson from Georgia. Where's everybody else from in here, guys? Tell us where you're from. Make sure you give this stream a thumbs up. We're at 38 thumbs up. There's 300 people in here. That's, that's unacceptable. Pretty low. It's unacceptable. Pretty low, guys. I, if I'm not that entertaining, I understand, but come on, guys. Just smash it. Just smash the thumbs up. You might as well. I mean, YOLO, right? Just got on. How's the bite going? Well, Logan, we kind of just started. About eh, however long I've been streaming. I can't see it because it's blocked by my big new lens I got on my phone. Virginia Fisherman, what's going on, man? How you doing, brother? Michelle Anderson, 50 pounds. I want a 50 real bad. I'm ready. Hey, do you have a 50 in your belt yet? Yes. Yeah. From right about. He does have a He's <laughs> a right little next bit to where away he caught his 50. And he caught me a 20 pound a couple days ago. That's not a bad fish. We lost a 50 plus pounder right at this spot three, four nights ago. Oh. It was a monster. One of the biggest catfish I've ever had next to my boat. And it broke the line. It was really depressing.
I got a quick story on mine. Yeah, so go it ahead, Peter. Just down where this uh, river bends a little bit. Here's what happened though. One of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. Me and a buddy sitting in a boat. It's dark, and all of a sudden he gets smashed, and he's right next to the bank. Fights the fish for like two minutes. Goes out in the middle of the uh, river. Drops the bait. Not even 30 seconds later, picks up my bait, yes. smashes it, live bait. I have the fish on and fight him for a good 10 minutes, get it to the boat, 50 pounder. So that's how I it's got it. It's easy my as it is, guys. <laughs> Makes me feel good about myself. It was a pretty cool story, though. Makes me feel good. I'll grab it. I don't want that falling in. Hey, guys. Welcome to the stream. Beautiful night here in Minnesota. Overcast. Bass should be biting bass fishing guys in case you're curious man that fishing spot looks awesome it's sick look at this wood over here guys there's kind of a sandbar right back there that comes out but there's current that runs through here guys there's current that's running all along there so it's kind of like a it's just a beautiful thing going on here something you want it's what you want and we're we're targeting this wood guys because we got a forward current, we got a fast flow out here, right? We got a normal fast flow out here. This is a cut bank. So um, right here, we're only in six feet. But if we actually go up about 30 more feet, it's going to be about 20 feet right off the bank. So it kind of comes up on a flat here. And this wood is on the edge of the drop. So we can either fish in like four feet of water down to like 10 feet of water. So we got baits on the four foot. We got baits down at the bottom. Right at the bottom of the ledge by the wood over here, which is right. Right there. Then we got a cut bait out in the channel. So that's why we're here. Uh, we should have had three fish here the other night. But we struggled. It was a struggle. Um, I've never caught a flathead before. I'm dictating my weekend to the Croix. Yeah, you should go fish flats on the Croix because they're huge out there. The bullheads are five to eight inches somewhere in there watching from oklahoma georgia can't use gills in minnesota i wish we could we can use them on the border water on the we're on the wisconsin side of the river though with a minnesota license but you got to be on that side of the river but we can use two rods on the minnesota side on the wisconsin border water so it's just weird laws yeah some big root balls the front's just as good the front's just as good can i turn the camera around yeah yeah i can Got a nice seam over here. I mean, why not, right? What's up, Dwayne? Dwayne, the Dwayne I just met? That Dwayne? Jexy, are you Dwayne? Or is that Dwayne Gretzky? I think it's Dwayne Gretzky. When's the next giveaway, rod giveaway? 25,000 subs. We're giving another rod away. And we're about to hit 15,000, I think. So hopefully soon, if it keeps going well. So when we hit 25,000 subs, we're going to probably give a rod away. I think we're going to be doing a different giveaway here pretty soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Stay tuned. If you haven't bought something from our shop, make sure you do. Because that might make speaking it so, of which, so you can win. Speaking of which, check out the new shirts. Move. Oh, move, he says. Let me put this down so people can see it. There's the sturgeon that's shirt. The new sturgeon shirt, the River Warrior yeah, series. That's the River Warrior sturgeon. series. That's a new one, Jacob Design. It's a beautiful yeah, shirt. Jacob did that one. Go to our website and check it out. Buy one. Yeah. We've got all sizes. Why not? Much, from small to three. Out. Yep, we got everything. What rods do you use? Tomcat Customs, right here. This is the same color I caught my 118 pound blue cat on, right here. Right here. This is the Penn Spin Fisher V. It's a bay clicker. Beautiful rods. This is a Northwoods Angling Edition rod. These are the older ones. We got different blanks now. That's what we're running for rods. Wow, you look like a baby, brother. <laughs> yeah, I had to, got rid of some facial hair. Sent my picture to someone. Said, beard's all gone. She didn't know what I was talking about. I said, man, you don't pay attention when you see me on Snapchat. Minnesota has some weird fishing rules, I agree. You're not going to catch any. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Hopefully not. I'm back from record lives 
from my re second live stream. How was it, Mullenix? How was your second live stream? This is my third live stream. If you guys are new, new to the channel, this is my third ever live stream this week. <laughs> it's my third this week. The Halibut, love your stream. We've gotten two hookups since we put it on. You're fishing, Elmer, for Halibut? I'll take that all day. Fish Lake Texona trying to catch some. Well, good luck. Catch a big one. Good luck. Catch more than last night. Hey, big rum. Take it easy, all right? It's a struggle sometimes. Is that Tom spinning setup? Tomcat? It is a Tomcat spinning rod. He does do spinning rods too, guys. So if you want a Tomcat, you can get Northwoods Edition if you want. Pretty fancy. You get uh, you can get spinning or or bait caster. Congrats on 14 subscribers. 14,000. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. Looks like the first great spot should hold a few flatheads. You would think, Jerry. Terry. Terry. You would think. We'll give her a little bit. If we don't get one by 8 o'clock, we'll move. Try something else. Didn't know, just learn something. Did know, just learn something. Um, wind doesn't look bad where you're at. A little breezy and hard. It's breezy here, but we're in the river valley, so you don't. there's no really no wind. Is the... Is this a talking or fishing stream? Well, Jay, if you've ever been catfishing in your life before, little do you know, you don't have to do a whole lot of casting. So we're fishing. This, this is called catfishing. Throw the rods in the water. It's a great thing. And you just sit here and hang out. Like I tell people that watch streams, if you don't want to watch the actual fishing part about it, you can go watch our videos and watch us catch big fish all day long. But this is, a, this is live, all live. You get to be here when it turns into from relaxing time, like I tell my people on Twitch, relaxing time, and then when a fish hits, it's party time. And when it's party time, guys, it's party time. Stuff gets real, real fast, doesn't it, Peter? Yes, it does. Very fast. So we are fishing, but I could just sit here and not talk. That'd be, that wouldn't be as exciting. I like talking. I'd get, uh, I think last stream had 2,200 comments. So if, imagine if I didn't read any comments. That'd be tough. What's up, Fuzzy? What's going on? <laughs> you are correct. Season is 4 1 to 11 30. So the season closes on 11 30, guys, in Minnesota for Flatheads. The spot looks awesome. Catching any? Iowa Plains been outdoors. We just started a little bit ago here. So we're trying to get some Flatheads. Louisville, Kentucky. River Falls, Wisconsin. Tippecoca, Ohio. I said that completely wrong. Tippecanoe, Ohio. Iowa, Ohio. I'll do whatever you want if you, if, if you can go. I got the whole evening to fish, so I'm good. Just say the word. All right, Pete. We will talk after this tonight. Babyface Luke. Yes. East Tennessee, I can't see you catch fish live so yet. So I've deactivated my evening to watching the live stream in Baudette, Minnesota. Tom, well, thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for tuning in. Winnipeg. We filmed a show in Winnipeg, or north of Winnipeg in Selkirk. If you guys haven't seen that episode, holy, it's a banger. Let me tell you guys. Talk about 20 pound channel cats. That's the episode to watch. Sumter, South Carolina, Kentucky, California. I know Blake. You know Blake, Drew? DC, John L. Ontario. Freaking Dwayne Gretzky in here. Just living the dream. Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, man, Nashville's so sick. I'm going to move my bag over. Virginia, Northern Illinois. Slime Quest. You're in Northern Illinois, huh? Didn't I comment on your video today? Or yesterday? Ohio smacks in the like button in the balls. Smack the like. You smack that like button? Good. We got 330 people. We got 85 thumbs up on the stream. You guys want to see the boat here? I'll back up so you guys can see. This is it. This is the new lens, guys. The new live stream That's lens. so much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's unreal. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. This is Peter. Hey, guys. Peter Warner. Made it out fishing for once. Can't always make it when these guys always live stream every Thursday. Thursday's a tough night for me sometimes, but he's a busy guy. I'm out. We're busy. We work full time. We're at it in the office. Luke is at the office to what? 6:15, 6:30 today? Not today. I just left a little earlier, mm -hmm. but I should have stayed there till 6:15. I should have stayed there. I had a lot of paperwork to do still before I leave for Texas. So, Jerry, Texas, don't say YOLO. Don't tell me what to do, Travis. Mullenberg County, Kentucky. There are Cubs games and Bears game on, but I'm watching Northwoods Live. That's probably a good choice. 
Good choice. Virginia doing fine, Luke. Good to hear. Lake of the Ozarks. Tim, welcome to the stream, man. From Lake of the Ozarks. Good old Missouri, I think, isn't it? Iowa, where nobody wants to go catfish. <laughs> you got that right. I'll only give a thumbs up if the orange hat hits the website. It is, right, Peter? What? Orange hats are hitting the website? Soon. Let's see how many times I can hear it in every stream I have. <laughs> These will be hitting the website soon, guys, if you want an orange one. It's the we real deal. We do got blue and gray, guys. That blue? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I look a little bit better than Luke. Yeah, he does. Come on. What do you say? We got the blue one. Oh, no good focus. It's my phone. It struggles sometimes. It does. I've noticed that. It's so much more crisp, but it just... Have you ever fished Lake Okeechobee? I have not. I've never fished in Florida. I have. I have a vacation there this summer with my... Or winter with my family, though. Canada. Minnesota. I know you're from Minnesota, William. Cuyuna, Minnesota. Cushnell. Ever catch you flats in Oklahoma? I've never fished in Oklahoma. Ever. Never fished there. Um, flats close November 30th. Yes. I think that's right. I'll be right. up in Cuyuna this uh, You're going to Cuyuna? Spring? Yep. For I got what? a hospital job up there. Oh, doing, great. Doing some flooring. Peter sells um, flooring. Commercial, right? Right. Commercial flooring. He's a good guy. Springfield, Missouri, Cincinnati, Hamilton. How does one get some apparel? Northwoodsangling.com backslash shop. Our moderator will put a link in the comments. We have a moderator? Yes, we do. Is he moderating? All right. All right, mod. Will you guys be down here in Florida soon? No. I will be in the winter, but with my family. So will Jacob in the spring? Yeah. He's always down there? Yeah. I have family down there. We might make it down there. Yeah. Probably in the winter, though. Yeah. In the winter. I can go down there whenever though, guys. You guys got a room for me in a boat? I'll come to Florida. Let me know. We'll do some live streaming and some filming. I have a good feeling for this evening. Go get them. Shane, thanks for being in all my streams, man. I appreciate it. In every Twitch stream and every YouTube stream. I love it. Thank you. Anyone looking to their get their boats out Sunday night with us on the Ohio River? Well, I won't be around there. That's Peter moving too fast in the boat. The it's boat went up when you moved. Get another 118 pounder. Well, I'll try. I mean, the odds of that happening here are about zero. We don't have blue cats in Minnesota, unfortunately. We not have seasons here in Virginia. Blake Bednar was here. Oh, we got a moderator today. Yeah, there's Jacob. If you guys have anything to say to Jacob, he's in chat. Any uh, editing questions? Any software he uses to do our sweet edits? Camera questions? He's in chat, guys, if you want to ask him, so don't don't be uh, shy. Just make sure you say at Northwoods Anglin, and then he'll find, he'll see it. Just sup. Fly fishing with Big Pig Glenn. What's up, Glenn? I caught a 45. That's a beautiful fish. Winona, Minnesota. Colton, welcome to the stream. From down in Winona. 280 people here, only four thumbs up smashed. Oh, there's more than four. There's 104. It should be more than that, more than 100 thumbs up, though, I would say. Any crappie? Oh, I crappie fish. I don't, uh, I don't brag about it, but I do crappie fish. Still looking for my 17 to put on the wall. Where did your partner run off to? This guy? He's behind my big body. You just couldn't see him. He's still in here. Down south outdoors, what's going on, man? Not much here. We're just fishing. We're trying to catch a big old flathead catfish, guys. I'll give you guys some, some tips here. When you're looking for flathead catfish, this, this is about finding flathead catfish in, in cover. When you're looking for flathead catfish, find the gnarliest, biggest structure that goes to the bottom of the river. You're probably gonna find a flathead in it. Um, this spot actually has a sandbar on the back side of it, so it's really, it's kind of an odd spot. It's kind of a pinch. It kind of comes in here and everything gets shot out. So any fish coming down here, down the river, has to come down this chute by this wood and come down by our baits. So that's kind of why our baits are there. It's on the bottom of a ledge. It's not too fast a current. You don't want too fast a current. You don't want too slow a current sometimes. Just right. That medium current. Um, like Engineer John always told me, if you can find good structure closest upriver of a hole on a river, you'll probably find flatheads before dark, which is usually the case. 
So keep that in mind. If you have any spots in mind that you haven't tried like right before dark, go try those spots right the closest spot up river from a hole. Because those flatheads come out of that deeper water sometimes and they'll come up on those flats into that wood and they'll feed at night. So that's definitely something to look for if you're interested in finding a flathead. I just know when a spot looks good. Sometimes I go to a spot and I'm like, I'm not feeling it and then I don't even fish it. And usually when I have a really good feeling, it usually works out pretty good. By usually, I mean 50% of the time it works every time. Who's the young man with you guys? That's Chris. Let's introduce him. I got a couple shout outs. Chris, too. come on over. We got come on three, up. 340 people in Look here. Look at that. 340 oh. people. This, this is, is Chris. Is... Say your name. Chris. What's your last name? Warner. And where are you from? Egan, Minnesota. And what school do you go to? Blackhawk. That's not, no yeah. details. What do you want a social now oh, or what? Gosh. Jeez. <laughs> oh, where's your house? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> First, last oh, name. That was fun. Who's your teacher? <laughs> He's a, he's Peter's nephew, guys. Peter's nephew. We sending you some more rain from the South Dakota? I hope not, Bill. I'm re I've seen enough rain this year. Ooh, two thumbs down. Nah, that's fine. It's probably the one guy I told not not to complain because we're not catching fish yet, and I'm talking too much. It's probably one of them. I suppose I have to behave now with a mod about. Oh, Shane, you're gonna behave. Jacob's pretty strict. Celsius Springs, Missouri, you should fish pool six. I've never fished six. I fished three, four, two, and one. One, two, three, and four. I've never fished anything below that, ever. I want, I'm want. i gonna go fish lacrosse though, definitely. Samantha Pickens says, hope you're having fun. Hope you're enjoying watching. Ever been noodling? Sure haven't, Michelle, sure haven't. It's illegal in Minnesota, land of 10,000 lay laws. Ten land of ten thousand laws. I wouldn't noodle anyways. You're just taking them out the spawn beds anyways. So I'll just I'll let them spawn. I catch them afterwards. Eighty nine caught here last week in Springfield, Illinois. That's a great fish. That's a monster. Going to Stillwater later. Nico, go catch a big sturgeon. Cause they're out there right now. We got a couple the other day. Northwoods Luke, how's the diet? Great. I weighed in. I weighed in yesterday for the first time in a week and a half. It was good. It was good. Hey, from Dayton. What's up, Vintage? It's been a while. Welcome to the stream. What's up, brother? Wad T. What's up, Wad? Wad's a mod on my Twitch channel, guys. Wad, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. How late are you guys going to be streaming? Not very late. Not very late. I got to get to sleep tonight. I got to go bag some fish. I got a lot of stuff I got to do tonight, but we'll be out here for a while, guys. We'll catch some fish for you. You ain't never seen a big fish that you fished off uh, fish old Bean Blossom Creek. What's that, Jake? How big is your biggest cat? Well, Shane, thank you for asking. My biggest catfish out in Missouri it was uh, right about 118 pounds. Blue cat. Hello, guys. I have officially gave up trying to catch a flatty through my holes um, away, but I'll continue to watch the show. Hey, you just keep keep grinding. Keep grinding, man. I, I shore fished my first year ever fly to fish and I didn't catch one, so don't feel bad. Wonder if we will ever get to buy an orange hat. It's happening soon. You guys catch a lot of nice fish. Thank you, Philip. I appreciate that. We try our best. Indiana, I fish Lake Monroe, which there's only 60 plus here. That's a big fish anyways, anything over that big. Jonathan Bevins, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Speaking of which, do I get my new hat tonight? Yes. You do. I have it in my truck. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, sir, John. John the Door Builder in the house, guys. If you watch my Twitch streams, John the Door Builder is very famous on there. Everyone likes his his mustache. Mustache. John the Door Builder. So everyone say hi to John. I'm new to this channel and want to say hey from Spart Spartanburg, South Carolina. Well, we welcome all South Carolinans to the stream, so welcome. Welcome to the stream. When you hear the banjos playing, cheer on. D-Ray. Where's D-Ray? D-Ray's TV? I don't see D-Ray's. What's up guys? Maurice Case and I'm a sub y'all. I'm a sub to y'all 10,000 times. I don't know if you can do that, Maurice, but I appreciate it. What's up, Corey? What's up, brother? How you doing, brother? That must be D-Ray. That is D-Ray's TV. What's going on, brother? 
What's up, Luke? I hear a phone ringing or something. Caught a 46 pounder last weekend in the flooded creek here in Oklahoma. Are you guys flooded pretty bad down there, Josh, or what? What is your favorite catfish to catch? Blue cats. Blue cats are my favorite. Getting ready for this Labor Day weekend, hoping to catch some cats. I bet you will, Corey. I want that rod. Yeah, you can get them. TomcatRods.com. If you guys want one. What rods do you use? We run Tomcat Customs, guys. All of our rods are Tomcat Custom Rods for cats. I'm about to Chromecast this onto my TV while my girlfriend is watching the gopher game. She's Matt going Gisrud, to flip. I'm proud of you for doing that. That's a big step for you because you're a giant sports fan. So I commend you for watching Northwoods tonight. I'm glad you tuned into the stream. Thanks, Matt. Luke is too. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate that. It's cold where you're at. Yeah, it, it was 54 degrees last night when I got off the river. Pretty chilly. Where are you at? We are on the Minnesota River, guys, in Minnesota. We're targeting big old flathead catfish. And first off, guys, I want to stop right here. I want to thank all of you guys that have subbed to the channel since the stream has started. And everyone that's given this stream a thumbs up. We're at 136 thumbs up, guys, so thank you so much. We got 332 people in here right now. Thumb up, keep thumbs up, keep going up. I mean, thumbs up, even a thumbs down is acceptable if you're not enjoying your time here at Northwoods Anglin. I mean, you, you, what do you do, right? Can't make everyone love you. But we're in the Minnesota River. We're about 12 miles from the confluence where it goes into the Mississippi River. And we're gonna move here in about uh, one minute, actually. It actually just hit time to move. I'm painting crankbaits, watching my boys. Vintage, you paint those crankbaits. What, do a Northwoods paint crankbait. Season closed, never closes now. Yeah, we close here, November 31st. Good luck, put there today. Enjoy the weather, Aaron, thank you so much, man. I'm going flood fishing tomorrow. Everyone's flood fishing. Hey man, you fishing the Minnesota River? You're dang right, Matthew. We are We're fishing the Minnesota River. How do I find you on Twitch? You just search Northwoods Angling, guys. What kind of bait are you using? First time watching. Kyle Reisner. We're using bullheads for flatheads. And we got sucker, right? Cut sucker. Cut sucker for the, chip, the cut bait rod. And I do have my worm rig here with a little treble on there. Right here. That's ready for a carp. Which we can catch if we want to. But we're not in the spot right now, so. Good luck and catch them big flat has been trying to find me a good spot from shore on the Minnesota. There's a lot of good spots in Minnesota, man, for shore fishermen. If you're willing to put in some walk time, you can find some really good spots. Really good spots. James, I w wish I could catch the size of fish you catch. Well, right now I'm not catching anything, so you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Anytime. You guys, that's what I always tell myself. When in doubt, just go fishing, right? If you're contemplating it sitting at home, you're going to wish you went. You might as well just go. You might catch the biggest fish of your life, you know. I'm a yes man, right? Unless too many people ask me to fish, and then I'm a, yo a no man. But I hate being that guy, so. Grand Rapids, Michigan. What's up, Kevin? Caught a really big channel cat the other night off of cut bait. Circle hooks works wonders. Yeah, channel worms. Cut bait. Yeah, we got cut circle out right now. Six out circle hook with cut. Muddy River catfishing. Where's he? Did I miss Chris? Chris, are you here, my friend? I must have missed his comment. Are you here? What's up, everyone? James Outdoor Adventures. Panty Huffin here, ready for action. What's up, Chuck? Huffin's, it. Huffin's here. A lot of Twitch people here. Thank you guys for being here. Is the current too strong for a kayak? I wouldn't say it's too strong for a kayak because you can kayak down White Rapids. Uh, if you're an experienced kayaker, I would say it's not too fast. Um, just be careful when you're out here, guys. If you get underwater or pushed under stuff like this behind us, you're in trouble. You know, that's the bottom line. Wear your life jacket. And uh, if you're gonna, if you're coming up on a on a tree when you fall in the river, swim out to the middle of the current until you find some a clear spot to swim to shore. Are you going to any tournaments at the end of this year, like Monsters of the Ohio? Like Winter Blues, yes. I don't think I'll be at Monsters. Hey, Patriot, I'm in North Carolina, too. How's it going, Muddy River Catfishing? Where's Muddy River at? I'm so far behind in comments. Is Chris in here? Chris, my friend. What's up, Chris? You guys, if you don't know Muddy River Catfishing, you should. Big boy. Big old YouTuber. Mr. Chris Flores. My main man. My One of my favorite people I've ever met. I had to work around the house today. Hello from North Central Kansas. Welcome to the stream, guys. Everyone, if you're new here, welcome to the stream. 
It's Northwoods, England. Yeah. We almost got 400 people in here. Almost 400 people. Wow, watching. unreal. You okay with that? You want to take over the stream for a little bit? Can you take over for like two minutes? I want to get some water. Sure. Just keep scrolling through comments. I'm just going through. Oh, is that how you do it? I'm 10 minutes back. Oh, right that's now. how you do it. Oh, come on. Cool. You want to kiss or what? Luke only lets me take over when he's getting a drink of water. Then watch, he'll come in and just kick no, me. No, right no, out. no, no, no. I'm taking a break today. So, okay. We are flathead fishing. We're also fishing for channels. We might fish for a little bit of carp tonight. We got Christopher. Come up here, Christopher. Give a shout out to your mom. Is your mom watching? Katie Warner, my little sister. This is her little boy, her little precious boy, Christopher. You're 11 now, and he's been I'm fishing 12. with us, or 12. You're 12 now. Seven, going into seventh grade. I, always, I said you were 11 to my wife last night too. But Chris fishes a whole ton now. Can you tell him about when we were up at Mille Lacs last summer with your grandpa? How many walleyes did we catch over 25 okay. inches? 12? No. It was, I think it was eight. It was oh, just eight. under 10. And Chris got 28 and a half incher, multiple 28s, a couple 27s, 26s, 25s. It was unbelievable. Best day of fishing you've ever had? Chris likes the walleye, but we're getting him into cats. So this is what's important, getting those young kids into fishing, showing them a really good time because that's how we got started. Once, once you catch one of these, it's, it puts any walleye you ever catch to shame. Funny story, last summer we were out here on this guy's boat, Luke's boat, and we were fishing a little tributary, real big bullheads. I, I'm like, there's a stick on my line or something. I start reeling it, I'm like, it doesn't feel like a bullhead, it feels a little bit bigger. Get it next to the boat, then it started fighting a little bit. 30 inch walleye, no joke. Spent my whole life up until about 30 years old fishing strictly for walleye, pike, crappie, all that. Never caught a 30 inch walleye. Guess what? Catfishing, eight to 10 inch bullhead, caught a 30 inch walleye. We've caught multiples. That one was actually on a live stream. You could look back. Three over 30 on bullheads already. Luke's got three over 30 on on bullheads. I got, I think, two over 30. The one I caught was pushing 31 on stream last summer, and then I've caught probably five or six that were uh, over the 28 inch mark, which is pretty pretty cool. So, what do you got to say, man? Anyone you want to say hi to? Who's your best friend? Chris is being a little shy. That's all right. It's his first stream. But look at, show him your Northwoods hoodie. Look at, check it out. We even have smalls, fits the kids. So hop online, go to northwoodsangling.com, go to the shop, order something. I got the new Sturgeon shirt on. Oh, nice one, Luke. We have River Warrior Flathead, awesome shirt. They're these new um, black instead of the gray. The last batch we had were uh, dark gray. These are black, they're a little bit more comfortable, uh, a little bit lighter weight too. So uh, go on there, grab a shirt or two, grab a hat. We have blues, we have grays, we're getting orange. We got winter hats. We have winter hats, we have beanies, we have fold up winter hats. Uh, we have koozies, we have stickers, you name it, we got it. Oh, ready to move? Yep. We're gonna move guys. It's time to move, it's time to party. Read any comments? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Norwalk, Ohio, Houston, Texas. This is a good looking hat. That is a good looking hat. I don't know if you're talking about mine or his. I'm 20 minutes behind in comments. This is great. I'm not ready yet. Oh, shoot. I'm going to hit a so, <clears throat> Hang on. Oh, it stopped that motor. Woo! Belly. That's how it's done. You have no idea how sketchy that was right there. Getting out of that spot, oh my god. <laughs> I don't mess around, wow. guys. You don't. This is Red River Luke, he doesn't mess around. No. Rivers don't scare me. Should we fish the back side and fish for some carp and chance? They're all over here. Yeah, yeah, let's go over it. Well, they're here, I promise you that. They are here. There's still a lot of wood on that. Oh yeah, it comes all the way back. You guys want to see the graph? 
There they are. There's the chans and carp. So we're gonna set up up there. Look at all those fish, guys. How's that look? Ooh, look at them all over there. They're just littered yeah, on the bank. We're fishing here. We're fishing here, guys. Yeah. A lot of fish. That's fish right there, guys. How's that look? Get a thumbs up for that, huh? Oh, yeah. If anyone donated anything, I'll see it once the chat comes up, so I apologize. Jacobs usually has this chat going in steer so I can see if people donate, but I won't be able to tell until it pops up. It's a lot of fish here. It's a lot of carpal. I'm gonna try to avoid this tree here. Well, it looks like, oh, I'm gonna hit it. Back up. That's a problem right there, guys. No guns here. I'm gonna go right there. Let me get you guys back in here. Right there. You wanna anchor or anything? No, no. We're just gonna put her up. There's something in the water. Sure she just tied, she go up to the log jam. So most of the fish are back here. That would be up to the captain. We're gonna go to the log jam. I'll get to comments here in a sec, guys. Give me one second, I'm backing up here. We're going up to the jam. Just turn on the headlights. Yeah, we're gonna get some chans here. We're gonna get right on this outer side here. And we're gonna just crush. <clears throat> I think we're gonna go up to the edge here. There's wood. No, we're gonna go to that spot you just looked at. I'm very indecisive, guys. I don't know if you can tell. There's a lot of wood, so we're gonna get back here. And we're gonna go right there. Are you still marking the wood right under us? Right here, yeah. So we gotta get a ways back. Should That's just... the only problem. I know. Dude, it's just littered over here. Screw it, let's <clears throat> rock. Let's rock out. $24, we got a $20 donation. I gotta see who that's from. Good? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put a uh, carpal rig on. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Put on a carp rig, guys. All right, I just put a little cut bait on, a little bit of that cut sucker that we got, and I'm gonna throw it right where we marked all those fish. Actually, Christopher's gonna throw it. I gotta find my weight. Give me one sec here. All right, I'll get to some comments here. Yeah. This lens is gigantic on this thing, Luke. It's huge, but it works good. Okay. I'm gonna get the filming light for you real quick. Cool. All right, Houston, Texas, that's where we left out. Uh, that's a good looking hat. Yes, it is, both blue and orange. Orange will be available soon, blue available right now, although we have very few left. Lake Erie, green. Green's a good idea. Jacob's got a green hat. I'll see what I can do about getting some of those. Hancock, Maryland, wow. People all over the country watching this stream, that's really cool to see. We really enjoy you guys, and we enjoy you being in here. We enjoy doing this for you. 
like the new flathead rods. Can't wait for the blue cat rods to come out. We have a huge channel cast. Just for Huge channel cats in Allegheny in PA. My corporate office is in PA, so I go out there every once in a while. I'd love to hook up with uh, a couple of you and fish some cats out there. Seen some pretty cool rivers that look like they hold some pretty good fish. Susquehanna River is out there. I know there's big, big flatheads in there. Luke's gonna get baited up here. He's gonna try to catch some carp, just get some action going. Uh, we marked a whole crap ton of fish over this spot if you missed it. Yeah. Fish in the Ohio River. I I've never fished the Ohio River. I don't know if Luke has, I don't think he has, but that's definitely on the bucket list. It's a great, great river for all, to all sorts of cats. Mm -hmm. Come to the Vermilion, we would love to do that. Uh, that blue cat rod, awesome rod. That's a really good one. Luke really likes that rod. Which one? The blue one. Oh, you, oh yeah, I love it. Animal Trevor, notice me please. Noticed. <laughs> <clears throat> Another question about the Ohio River. I really want to get down there. I know a lot of people who fish down there, a lot of people who crush really big blues. There's big flatheads in there too. Uh, I would love to fish that Ohio River. Just something we haven't done yet. We fished the James River in Virginia. Um, we fished Wheeler Lake. We fished Wilson Lake in Alabama. Uh, fished the Missouri River over in Missouri, parts of Kansas and uh, Nebraska border there up, uh, up a little more north. Gettysburg, PA. Fishing for flatheads in a pond take a different approach than a river. Um, it can. Uh, when you're fishing current, it's it is completely different. So in lakes, they do roam a little bit, but they're still gonna, you know, hold in holes. Uh, a lot of flatheads in lakes will, will, you know, hole up in the during the daytime and then they'll come out and feed at night. So you just don't have the current to work with. So fish cover, fish holes, uh, you know, fish structure. That's where flatheads like to hang out. If you've ever seen a picture of a flathead underwater, it is always under a branch or some sort of heavy structure. So fish those. Uh, that's Sean Dunkirk. Like the Jacob put up the link for the shop, you can go there to get any of the stuff that we got on right now, including this awesome River Warrior Sturgeon shirt. All right, it's time to catch fish. Patriot Cat Fishers, ever thought about a collab with Dieter Melhorn? Yes, Luke thinks about collabs with Dieter Melhorn when he's sleeping. He dreams about it very often. No. Dieter, we would love to fish with Dieter. Um, he fishes a lot of salt water, uh, fishes a lot of cats, and that's what we'd love to do. So yeah, we'd love to fish with Dieter. He's a great dude too. He uh, talked to him all the time. Dieter. <laughs> How did I do that? That was awesome. That was like really good timing on that. What's up, uh, what is that, Gerald Baldwin? Gerald Baldwin? What's up, man? Vermilion River, Pontiac, Illinois. No. Do you guys get really big flatheads there? That's what I want to know. Because in Illinois, I haven't seen super, super giant flatheads. So tell me that there's 50 pluses in there and we'll do it. You ready, Lou? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just oh. holding my rod. I got a good live bait out too. I'm just holding my rod right now, guys. My fishing rod. Right here. Just waiting for a bite. Memphis bound. MRM all next week. I'll stream from the boat NWA for life. <laughs> we don't have blue cats here in Michigan either, but some people swear. No, we don't. You don't. I promise you don't. People can swear all they want. Oh, river blues? I love river blues. Got a fish on? No. Oh. Biggest suckers you can find, wink, wink. <laughs> suckers are great. New job. Um... What's your biggest catfish? My biggest, my biggest cat's 118 pounds. His biggest cat's, what's your biggest cat, Pete? Uh, just over 50. 50 pounds. Um, shout out, Braden Nichols. What's up, brother? What else is smoking right now? Who else is smoking right now? Yeah, we're smoking the fish. My biggest fish is 57 pound blue. Hope you break it. You'll beat it. Have you ever fished in Pennsylvania? I have not, but I'd like to sometime. I definitely would. I definitely would like to. Good free editing software? Okay, yeah, you can ask Jacob that one. Jacob is an editing beast. He is an editing beast. What's going on, everyone, he says. We had some plans for a few boats. Our two of them canceled, so that's so much to read. Where are you at? Minnesota River. Minnesota River. That's where we're at right now. 
Might put a heavier weight on. You ever fish the White River in Indiana? I have not. Any tips on Trinity River fishing? If you're fishing for gator gar, yeah, big bait, treble hooks. We're using a live bullhead. I got a worm on this carp rod and uh, cut sucker minnow. Cannonball, cannonball, I'm hope. I would you focus on my face? I'd like to do a cannonball. I don't know about anyone else, but I only have the best luck when they use chicken liver for catfish, so definitely not me. Who donated $20? $20? I'm so far back in comments. Oh my gosh, you guys are insane. I did. Catnip catfish dough bait with the $20 dono. Thank you so much, cat. Whoa. Catnip catfish dough bait. Thank you so much for the donation. You donated catnip. in the last stream too. Catnip. catnip. I skipped I like through catnip. a bunch of comments, guys. Don't don't be don't hate me for it. I gotta catch up. I'm still 10 minutes behind, and I scrolled like 10 minutes. So if you ask the question, you can ask it again. I'm skipping ahead to 8:11, so I'm only 10 minutes back now. Luke's honey badger. He don't care. He fishes where he wants. You're dang right. Just send it. It's sent. You guys should use corn. Carp and channel kill it. I'll tell you what, I've never caught a channel cat on the corn before out here, but... Um, on corn? Yeah, have you? I caught one just the other Did night. You? I remember fishing carp, I caught a channel. I'm going to cool. put on a heavier weight. Got to get a heavier weight. I got to build a piece of worm on this treble hook. It's what they want, guys. I need to... I'm going to hold that real quick. Sure. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to find a weight. A little more weight that's suitable, you know? You need those suitable weights. Mm -hmm. You guys should use corn. Yes. I caught a channel on corn just the other night. Fishing can be exhausting. Henry, agree with you. It can be super exhausting. Cat fishing, a little less exhausting because we're not casting as much. Do high numbers of gar chase off the cats? They, they can, but there's a lot of blue cats in the Trinity where we fish, and there's even big blue cats. So I wouldn't say it scares them off, but uh, gar are apex predators. They eat anything and everything. So they will eat blue cats, and yeah, I, I think they roam together, though. You got her? Sure do, Peter. Get that little wimpy thing off there. <laughs> What is this? It's like a quarter ounce. Quarter ounce. No quarter roll? Ounce, yeah. <laughs> no, a quarter ounce bank. Or bell bank. sinker. Small. Awesome. My boy Luke on YouTube tonight, boys. What's up, Honda How To? Make sure you guys go check out Honda How To. If you, if you guys are into mechanic car stuff, Honda How To is a master Honda mechanic. He's amazing. He builds race engines for Hondas. He's one of my mods also on Twitch. That's Mr. Honda How To himself. Great gentleman. He's a scholar. It's my boy, Mr. Zach. All right, here we go. Chris, did you say hi to your mom? Come here. Chris has got to give a special shout out to his mom. He was mandated to do so. Chris, come here. Say hi to your mom. Say hi, mommy. No. Say hi to mom. <clears throat> Katie Warner, I hope you're joining us. Having fun with your little son here, my nephew, my favorite nephew. Is it your only one? Only nephew. My nieces <laughs> as well. Okay. But are you having fun out here? Yes. Funner, would it be more fun if you caught a fish? Yes. Yeah, well, let's catch a fish. That'd be nice. Christopher, thanks for coming out with us. We love sharing this with the next generation of fishermen, and that is this guy right here. So say hi to your mother. Hello, Mom. And who else? Your sister watching too? No. She's sister. not? She said she forgot you were alive, and she, hi, she went on. Hi, Emily. Hey, Emily. Hey, Luke. Hey. Luke's in the background there. We just had a I bald eagle over. I need to get caught up again. Oh, kicked out again. Sorry, Peter. I gave you about 15 minutes before. That's pretty good for me. It was a new record. That is pretty good. I let you get on there a little longer. Um, that good spot. What state are they in? We're in Minnesota. Caught a 59-pound flathead. Um, look, support, boys. Bless fishing. Boys, God bless fishing. Grant, thank you so much. I've never tried catfishing flathead. It's fun. It's about as fun as it gets when you get a big flathead that smacks your bait. Good luck, gentlemen, when y'all come into Texas. We're coming in four days, man. We'll be in Texas fishing alligator gar in four days. So you guys better be ready. Flex fit hats, bro. We don't do the flex fits. Behind you, right there. You don't know how many times I see that in a stream. I'm getting a bite. Like, I don't know if I'm getting a bite. 
Sometimes I don't, so I shouldn't say that. I chase blue cats in Indiana. I've never fished in Indiana. Come to hit the Ohio with us. I'll hit the Ohio sometime. You just it'll be a while. I got so many trips planned, you guys. Um, some big catfish in Kentucky. Hey Owen, notice me please. What's up, Gage? Misfit Garage is in, is on, boys. Northwoods England's on too, cardboard box. Don't forget, alright? Do you guys bass fish? I do bass fish, yes. Hi Shane. Come to Kentucky, Ohio River. Everyone loves the Ohio. People love the Ohio. I don't blame them. It's a good river. Fish jumping next to the boat. That's great. Hi Mike. Go to Louisville area for the Ohio River. I gotta plug my phone in. I'm gonna check my battery here. 33%. Is it? Is I have caught some monsters. I live in western Kentucky. Um, monsters on the Ohio, Owensboro. The catfish is the L agency. The cello, a man. Thanks for your service, War Brother. Hey, Shane. Notice me. I fished the Potomac River in Virginia. I want to fish the Potomac really bad. Thought I had a bite there. Bottom hook rig for the river current on bottom weight rig with the hook above. I just got a standard Carolina rig on. What's a flathead? It's a catfish. Flathead catfish. Shovel head, yellow belly, yellow fish, yellow cat. You guys rock. Thank you, Gage. The Potomac River is a monster blue cat heaven. I've heard. I'll get there eventually. Maurice Case and my honor brother, Army Infantry. Make those shirts in 3X big boys fish too. They're in 3X. We got 3x. Um, what is the average size? Average size of what, Hunter? Flatheads? I'd say 15 pounds. Reverend North, shout me out, please. I already did. Shout out, Luke. Gracie, welcome to the stream. I am Gage. Me too. Peter, if you guys come to Cincinnati, I'd love to take you guys out. Yeah, I don't know when we'll be coming to Cincinnati. Or if. Or when. Well, I don't know. Will. I don't know much of anything to be honest. We will, and we will take you up on that. Yeah, I am sure Luke mentioned fishing at Lacrosse. Yes, I'm supposed to go there to fish flats anyway, so I need to go do that too. Notice me. What bait are you using? Bullheads, cut sucker, and worm. Warlord, what's going on, man? Hey, is this a st is this stream? You sure, right, it is. At Adventures, dang right, it's a stream. Why are you sure? Why are all your shirt logos transposed tonight? The camera's reversed. It's backwards because we have the face camera on so I can read the chat. Um, where are you fishing? We're on the Minnesota River, guys. We're just up the confluence of the Mississippi River. Targeting big old flatheads tonight. We're trying for some channels right now and some carp. We're going to probably start heading back towards the ramp to find some other good stuff to fish because there's some good stuff between here and the ramp we can fish. We're three miles from the ramp, so we got quite a bit of water to fish. Shout me out. Gage, I've shouted you out. Can you show me what fish looks like on the side scan? I just started using a Helix Hummingbird. I will when we leave this spot. We're stationary, so it doesn't work as well. Gage needs a boot. Nah, he's all right. I'll give him a couple more times. Mosquitoes aren't tearing you, and there's no mosquitoes right now. It's actually sure, that's amazing. That's a lie. I have shorts on, and they are biting the crap out of my legs. Okay, I'm not getting bit by mosquitoes right now. Have to get up at 2.30 a.m. for work. Love the show. Can't wait until the next live stream. Well, let me tell you, I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad you guys are supporting the stream. Thank you guys for all the thumbs up. We almost have 200 thumbs up on this stream, guys. Um, I don't know what the record is, but viewage-wise, this is definitely a record for views. We average usually 150 viewers probably on our live streams. We had almost 400 here a little bit ago. 363. So thank you guys for being here. That's unreal. Thank you guys so much. And make sure we're going to try to go live on YouTube down in Texas too. So keep an eye out, guys. Keep an eye out. Make sure you're following this channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you guys know when we're going live. Don't miss out on this opportunity of a lifetime, guys. It's free, right? It's free. Peeling drag, go to our channel and watch the 118 pounder. You can see the takedown on that video. Best video we've had by far. Yeah, most popular video. Bit. It's a good one. It's an exciting video. I think it's the best. You want to watch by far. You want to watch a rod fold in half. That's a good one to watch. Poker man, you fire. How about the NWA spoof t-shirt? Get everyone in the crew and dress and pose like one of their group picks and instead of the guns, pose with rods. Inglesby, what's going on? How's your Tomcat treating you, brother? 
Um, why would anyone fish for flats with liver? I don't think people do, do they? That'd be a bad choice. Set your chat to real time. Nope. I can't set it to real time. I go through all my chat in Goldsby, or uh, Primal. I think last last stream I had 2,300 comments. I almost read all of them. I try to read all of them. Is the Mississippi Ritter better for channel cats? For flats or channel cats? Mississippi? I don't know. I, I think flats are great on it, but there's a lot of chans on it too. Get any sturgeon fishing worms on the Minnesota? Yeah, you can catch a lot of shovel nose. Not a lot, but you can catch them, especially if you fish closer to sandbars. When are we going to fish together? Looking to learn from the master. Well, I don't, Peter, when do you want to fish with William? He wants to learn from the master. Where's William located? He's in the a, master. <laughs> he's in um, by Lesseur. Well, I do have a bigger flathead than Luke, so you it's can true. call me the flathead master. That's true. But not really. You could put both of his biggest flats together and it wouldn't be as big as my one blue. Real funny. Real, real funny. It's <laughs> actually hilarious because that fish was giant. Uh, can you show me what fish looks like on the side? I will do that when we leave this spot. Catchbait.com, catchbaitbait.corn, catchbaitbaitcorn. I don't know what that means, Dyer, but I like it. Kick cereal works good for carp fishing. Okay, How do you get that let's to go, go catch the catfish. Fleming, hi boys, catch anything yet? Well, a bass, a bass, mom, a bass at mom of two. Gosh, I can never read your name. Laura, we love you. Love you, Laura. You're such a great person. Mm -hmm. And your cabin looks beautiful, by the way. Can't wait to come that there. That new sod you got, pretty impressive. Yeah, it looks good. Make sure you water that. Tell stuff. the dogs I said hi. Harold, Harold is Harold watching. I bet he is. Hoping Laura, tonight make is sure you show Harold the, our live stream. Would you focus on me, please? Jeez, I know I'm ugly, but because I keep going in there. What's up, witch? Denny DTF. What's up? I like fishing too. Well, thank you guys for being here. A fish would be cool. Just to catch a fish would be kind of nice. Not gonna lie, guys. 210 thumbs up. You guys rock. Thank you so much. Best free editing software is DaVinci Resolve. PC has to be able to handle it, though. You uh, do any editing, Whisker Sticks? What are you using camera-wise right now? This camera is a uh, um, Galaxy S9 Plus. For our YouTube channel, we use a Sony A7S Mark II and a DJI Osmo. And then we also use uh, our phones for uh, B-roll and uh, macro shots. So we have, we technically have seven cameras for our YouTube channel. We got GoPros, a DSLR, we got our A7S Mark II, and then we have our um, Osmo. Brad Burton, what's going on? Best channel cat was 200 pounds. That's debatable. Rip some <laughs> lips. Gotta love mama. Yep. You guys have the best streams. Well, Henry, I'm glad you feel that way. You boys should do a tour around the U.S. fishing for cats. Poker Man, we do. We travel all over the country and fish for cats. We do. But I'd like to do more traveling. I'm going to do more, guys. Virginia Fisherman, welcome to the stream. Who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? Mm. Casey Neistat. Um... Cletus McFarland. We should move soon. We're gonna move. Um, Cletus, Casey. Um, those are probably my favorite too. I like Cletus a lot, and um, Honda How To is a great channel. That's my favorite YouTubers. I don't know if you meant fishing or just YouTube in general. Have they caught anything yet? We sure haven't. Best was 100 pounds at Watts Bar Dam, Tennessee. That's a big fish. My family and I are out fishing right now. Vinny. Are you guys catching any fish or what? Elmer, no fish yet. My personal best is a 52 pound flathead. I'm still 10 minutes behind you guys. Holy crap. Can I catch up? That's the question. All right, we got to move. We're going to move spot. We're going to go closer to the ramp. Yeah? Or no? Yeah, don't do that one. Just reeling in my 100 yards of line, guys. Don't worry about it. Sir. I think my leader's a little short here. I think I'm done with the carp for the night. Are you I don't know. We'll find out real quick. 
Would you focus? Jeez, this thing's struggling. There we go. Now we're good. Gotta take this worm off because you know a dried worm on the hook, guys, is never good. Oh, this is so annoying. Pretty small treble hook trying to get this worm off. Try not to poke my hand too hard here. God, that's really good lighting with just the graph and that thing on super low. Yeah, it's as low as it can go. 52 pound flathead? Where? Mr. Mastin. That's a good fish, man. First of all, really that's fish. a great fish. My awesome best is fish. a... 64 pound blue, war brother, the river man. That's a good fish, bigger than the biggest blue I got. Focusing's a little tough right now. All it's right, when guys. both of us are in there, I think it's worse. Kind of like rod you're using for the car. What kind of rod? That's just a ugly stick. That's a real light, flimsy, ugly stick. We're moving. You guys bass fish? You're dang right I bass fish. I do most of my live stream bass fishing on Twitch, but we, we're going to start doing more bass shows, I think. I want to do a smallmouth show. That'd be kind of fun. Wouldn't it be? Yeah, smallmouth. We've done, we did it, we smally fished a couple times this uh, this summer. It was real fun. I haven't done a lot of that, period. No, I love it. It's kind of a nice place to have it. I <laughs> never have to move it. Oh, current. Should we do our safety first speech right here, Pete? Hold on, let me clean this lens off. Grab yours. Where are they? Right here, right there. When will y'all be in Texas? We're leaving for Texas on Tuesday. Safety first, guys. Safety first. Don't get bugs in the eye. Sometimes they don't leave for a couple days. It's pretty annoying. Focus. Ooh. That was for you, Lyle, if you're watching. I hope you are. We're 10 minutes behind on comments, so you better be watching, Lyle. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll turn this around. Let's go. Let's make some ground up, guys. Good, buddy? No. Looks too good not to look at it. And if you're watching, we'll keep you posted on what the side imaging looks like when there's fish. Forgot about that. Still about. 12 feet of water, 10. Looking at that one tree coming out here. Bait fish. It's not in there. There's no wood in the ground, in the water. No, it's all just There's a little. Covered. It's not a fish. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Bear with us, people. 
You can, uh, do you want to go through some comments while yeah. I'm driving? Sure. All right, I'm going to show you the side scan yeah, while I'm there. going through some comments here. What kind of rod are you using for the carp? Uh, you already went through that. That the is. Fish, guys. There's a fish. That is a fish. When you see them on the side, they show up with a shadow behind them. It'll just be kind of like a little blob, kind of like that, but with a shadow behind it. So we'll show you a little bit when we get to the next uh, spot. Texas will be about an hour and a half south of Dallas, uh, roughly in that area, Lake Livingston area. Thanks, Virginia. No problem. Must, must be your good luck charm. Don't get skunked. Don't think I've ever watched you get skunked. Jexy 12, we're getting fish. Don't worry about that. Biggest bass you ever caught. Mine is only six pounds. What's yours? Four and a half. Four and a half. Texas will be docking up on food. James Dockery has been watching you for over a year now. After all the things I go through to find people to fish with, I think you are lucky that you have people to fish with you every night. People are will go fishing with Luke anytime. There are people lined up waiting to fish with Luke. He's a special, special boy. <laughs> He's a special boy. Bowling Green, Kentucky. Derek A, what's going on, brother? Love night fishing for cats on the Snake River. It divides Oregon and Idaho. That sounds like a blast, Kyle. What an awesome spot. Oregon and Idaho. You should fish some white sturgeon, buddy. Wouldn't believe all the fishermen in Ohio. Vintage, we know about all of them. There's, we got a lot of buddies in Ohio that fish out there. Let's get them to light tonight, Luke. Outside looking. We're doing it, buddy. Kill Billy. We'll show you what the side scan looks like in a little bit. War, brother. That is a nice day, Ian. It's beautiful. Are you from Japan, or is that just your name? It's like a small curved shadow. Potomac River, one of your favorite places, Tommy Del Grosso. We have been dying to get there. We've had multiple offers to go fish there with people. Uh, it's just been tough for us to get out there, see all the bugs. It's nuts. Do you guys pike or walleye fish? Hunter, yes, we do. I grew up fishing pike and walleye. We do it once in a while, but we really yeah. love the cats. Put your right hand like this. And... That's the wind. Where did you guys launch out of? 